Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Nate, and today I'm going to show you guys some commands that you can enter into TF2 that'll be really useful for gameplay purposes and for rocket jumping. Now believe me, I've been asked so many questions regarding all these themes, like how to get transparent view models and all that. Well today I'm going to explain all of that to you guys. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your developer's console is enabled. And what you do is you go into your options right here in the little menu, and then you hit the advanced button right below that. There should be a little check spot that you can hit Enable Developer's Console right there. And what this does is it brings up a little window with all this text and stuff on it. And it's basically just showing you what's going on in the game and what's being typed. Now this is what we're going to use to enter a bunch of commands. Now first off, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that you can use in actual games. Like stuff that'll help you see and all of that. And the first one is FOV underscore desired. Now by default, this is going to be set to 75. This is basically just how much you can see on your screen at one time. Now if we set it to 90, as you can see it opens up more of the screen, we can see more stuff that's going on around us. This is something that all of you should have set to. Now view model underscore FOV is a little bit different. It's basically telling your little view model in front of your screen to be either farther away from you or up close. And I believe that the default is 75, and as you can see here, it's kind of like up close to the screen, you can see like the little rocket launcher right here. And if I set it to 90, you can see that my rocket launcher kind of goes farther away from me, and I can kind of see more around me. And I believe that the maximum you can go is 110. Now again, what I prefer to use is 90, because it's just like right in between, right in the middle, and I can still see more that's going on around me. Now next up, we're going to talk about the bind command. Now you're going to use this for a lot of different things. What you do is you start out by typing bind, and then right after that you're going to type a key, like any key on your keyboard, so when you press it, it's going to do something. And then right after that, in quotation marks, you're going to put a command. You're going to tell it to do something. So for example, if I were to type bind, then after that put like a Q, whenever I press Q, it's going to do something. Now in quotation marks, right after that, I'm going to put no clip. So when I'm in my own server, when I press Q, it's going to enable no clip and I can basically just fly around the map. And I turn it off, I just press it one more time. Now another one that I like to use is bind toggle CTRL for control, and then R underscore draw view model. And what this does is every time I press control on my keyboard, it's going to turn off or turn on my view model. Now this becomes really handy when you have weapons that cover a lot of the screen, and you just want to turn it off completely. Now the last example here I like to use is to bind text so it'll appear when I press something. Now after you type bind and you put in a key, in the quotation marks you're going to put say, and then you're going to put a space and then whatever text you want it to appear on the server. So if I were to type bind and then put in a key, we could put quotation marks and say, and then like, I don't know, face or something, and quotation marks. So if you enter that and you go into the server and press the key, it's going to save a little text in chat. So again, there's like a ton of things you can do with bind, and it's really helpful for other things. Now the biggest question I get asked is how do I use transparent view models? Now even though I put the link in the description, no one sees it, so I'm going to explain it now. You can either click on this video right here, or click this little link that will take you to the page that explains just how to get transparent view models. It just requires you to put a few scripts into one of your folders. And this will enable transparent view models, so you can still see your view models on the screen, but you can look through them and see people behind it. And I personally like to use this, because instead of just having like no view model, I'm able to see what I'm using, and still be able to see what's going on around me. And it's, it's really awesome, I love it, I love using it. Now there's another little command here you can enter that'll help you kind of increase your uh, frames per second a little bit. And this is going to be mat underscore fawn zero. And this is going to change your graphics settings a little bit and everything's going to look a little bit different. It kind of decreases the graphics a tiny bit so your game can run a little bit faster. Now this next one is another one you should all know how to do, and it's how to record a demo. Now you can record your gameplay just through the developer's console. And it'll save it as a demo file that you can replay later. What you do is you type record, and then you put a space, and then you put a name for the file you want to be. This is going to start recording your gameplay. And this really isn't going to affect your gameplay at all. It's just going to kind of run in the background until you tell it to stop. And you just type stop into the console. And if you want to play it again later, you just type play demo and then the name of the demo, and you can watch the whole thing all the way through. And you can even speed it up and slow it down and go to certain spots. All you do is type demo UI into the console, this little window will pop up with all these different settings you can use to watch it. And I use this pretty much every time I get onto TF2. It's great for just going back and watching the moments I actually played. Another quick command here is retry. You just type that into console, and it's just going to reconnect you to the server. So you won't have to go back and browse and hit connect all over again. 
And now this command here I'm going to show you is basically just for fun purposes. I just like to use it when I'm really bored. And it's CL first person uses world model 1. And what this does is it turns on your actual view models in the game and lets you be able to see what you're actually doing. So as you can see here when I'm jumping up and down, my rocket launcher is just going insane because that's what it actually looks like in the game. And if I switch to heavy you can see I can look down and even see my stomach. I mean, it's not really like a useful command, I just kind of like to do it for fun. Now these last few commands I'm going to talk about is stuff that you can use in your own server. And more specifically for rocket jumping, because that's what I like to do. The first one is going to be sv underscore cheats1. This is going to allow you to put in a whole bunch of different commands to your own server, such as gain more health and stuff like that. And what I like to do is to make sure that the server doesn't have any time limit at all. And I do this by typing mp underscore tournament and then a 1. This puts it into tournament mode, and the time won't ever run out. Or if I want to, I guess, I just type mp underscore time limit, and then whatever number, and it's going to set the time limit to something else. And once you've got all that set up, you can actually give yourself a ton of health. So for like example, if you wanted to go sticky jumping or rocket jumping, and you don't want to die from losing too much health, you can type hurt me, and then a space, and then minus, and then a number. So I'm just going to type a really big number here, and as you can see when I enter it, I'm going to have a ton of health, and it's going to last me a long time. Another one you could use is Impulse 101, and when you enter this, it's just going to refill your ammo and your health all the way. Now if you wanted to, you could actually bind this to a key, so if it did like... So for example, I could do like Bind E, Impulse 101, and every time I press E, it's going to give me all my health and ammo back. Now personally, for rocket jumping purposes, I like to use a little script, and it's going to refill my health and ammo every two seconds or so. So I won't ever have to press any buttons, and they'll just do it for me. And I'll put a link to where you can get this script from, and once you get it all set up, all you have to do in console is type exec space regen. And it's going to launch it, and it's going to give you all your health and ammo every two seconds or so. Now the last command here I'm going to show you guys is set position. Now I use this all of the stinking time when I'm rocket jumping. Because if I'm practicing like a really big jump and I don't want to have to walk all the way back, this is going to bring me back to the exact spot that I saved it at. So in console, I type get pos for position, and it's going to bring up this little red text line. I'm going to copy that, and when I paste it into the console, when I hit enter, it's going to bring me back to that exact spot that I was before. So I'm actually going to bind this to a key, so whenever I press the key, it's going to bring me back to that exact spot that I saved it at. So it's fantastic if you want to practice really big jumps. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now hopefully some of these commands will help you out in some sort of way because I use a ton of these commands all of the time, and they're really stinking useful. And again, if you have any more questions, you can feel free to type a comment or just send me a message, and I'll try to answer it. Anyways, that's it for today, and I will see you guys next time!